Welcome to EDUC 4703U, Teaching and Learning, Problem-Based Learning. My name is Dr. Roland Van Oosveen. I'm a professor at the Faculty of Education at the University of Ontario Institute of Technology. I'll be your narrator, guide, chief cook, and bottle washer for this course. This is the first opportunity to uh, be introduced to the analysis questions. In fact, every video clip in this series is going to be bookended by a series of questions, analysis questions at the beginning, synthesis questions at the end of the video clip. The analysis questions are designed to draw you into to uh, do a further analysis of the actual uh, question, the video clip itself, and the synthesis is try to put all the information together so that you understand it in a different way than you originally did uh, without the benefit of, of the questions as well as the rest of the uh, discussions that you've had about it, etc. So the analysis questions, the first set of analysis questions are as follows. According to the video, why might you be interested in taking a course about problem-based learning or PBL? Secondly, what are the expected outcomes of the course? What should you know and what should you be able to do by the end of the course? Thirdly, what tools and methods will you be using to meet the expected outcomes? This course has the distinction of having several firsts associated with it. This course is the first to be offered in a new program that will be offered by the Faculty of Education at UOIT starting in September 2012, the Bachelor of Arts in Adult Education and Digital Technologies. This will also be the first undergrad course at UOIT that is offered totally online, using a combination of video clips on YouTube, video conferencing, and social networking tools. It will also be the first course to offer glimpses into problem-based learning, PBL, as an elective for students in all faculties across the university. Wikipedia then defines PBL, problem-based learning, as student-centered pedagogy in which students learn about a subject in the context of complex, multifaceted, and realistic problems. Working in groups, students identify what they already know, what they need to know, how and where to access new information that may lead to the resolution of a problem. The role of the instructor is that of facilitator of learning who provides appropriate scaffolding for that process by, for example, asking probing questions, providing appropriate resources, leading class discussions, as well as designing student assessments. That quote is taken directly from the problem-based learning page on wikipedia.org. You may be asking yourself why, might, why you might be interested in taking a look at PBL at all, since the program you're currently enrolled in looks at issues of becoming or being a health sciences professional or an engineer or a scientist or a social scientist, etc. This course in the associated BA program was designed specifically with you in mind. This course recognizes the growing importance of formal and informal lifelong learning as seen in the expanding professional development needs of post-secondary instructors, as well as similar needs in corporate, governmental, community-based, and professional workplace environments. As the educational needs of these institutions and organizations continue to grow outside the traditional university and college-based educational system, and as human resources departments turn their attention to the be economic benefits of just-in-time online learning opportunities, there is an increased need for individuals with the knowledge, competencies, and skills associated with teaching and learning in adult environments in the digital age. This course intends to assist in the preparation of a new kind of expert, essential to the knowledge-based economy, an expert who possesses both broad social understanding of adult education and the specialized knowledge and competency based in adult education with a focus in the use of uh, digital technologies for learning. The course learning outcomes then, as uh, outlined on the screen and also will be found in the course outline itself, um, can be found in WebCT. So the remainder of this video clip references that particular course outline. This course then examines the pedagogical, that is relating to teaching strategies, concepts of problem-based learning. It's defining theories, its current practices, and its development. Specifically, by the end of this course, students will have demonstrated an ability to divine, define key concepts associated with problem-based learning, explain theories of learning as well as their possible impact on teaching, explore contemporary issues in problem-based learning, 
describe some of the significant publications regarding problem-based learning, explore a variety of problem-based models, examine the potential and limitations of problem-based learning, collaboratively develop a bank of problem-based learning objects that students might explore. The specific enabling tasks that are um, given as activities within this course are as follows. Throughout the course, you'll be involved in the following activities and tasks. One, preparation in online, or sorry, participation in online collaborative tasks, and there will be a variety of these. For instance, discussion forum, uh, Google Docs, Twitter, etc. Secondly, you'll be uh, expected to do readings and to participate in tutorial sessions that will be conducted using Adobe Connect. Thirdly, you'll be collaborating in the design and production of problem-based learning object. Fourthly, you'll be participating in a mock-up online, uh, in mock-up online PBL or problem-based learning situations. And fifthly, you'll review des the design of an evaluation strategy for a PBL or for PBLOs. The course activities then, are as follows. All course activities will be designed in a manner that will allow for access with a wide range of mobile devices such as smartphones and tablets, iPads, Galaxy, um, uh, Research in Motion Playbook, uh, therefore favoring the development of truly mobile learning culture anywhere, anytime. This 36-hour, three-credit course will be articulated in nine modules or nine sessions, including each including one hour of video clip based lecture broken down into three or four 12 to 15 minute long segments and this is the first of one of those types of segments. The video clips will be written by a content expert, i.e. me, um, and uh, they will be sub subsequently be produced by our own UIT media specialist and then installed on YouTube. Secondly, you will be expected to uh, participate in one hour of synchronous group t tutorial activities in Adobe Connect. The video conferencing sessions in Connect will be planned in detail by the professor, uh, content expert, in collaboration with Teaching and Learning Office. The tutorial activities in the session will be run by a teaching assistant, a TA. By scheduling the different groups at different times of the day and of the week, the program will be able to accommodate students from a wide variety of time zones. Please see the hardware software requirements which need to be met in order to enjoy a relatively smooth experience within this video conferencing environment. And thirdly, a uh, final element of each module will include two hours devoted to online activities such as forum discussions, self-directed learning activities, etc. as specified in the course calendar below using a wide variety of online resources. Although this covers the basic four-hour commitment to the class, to eight, each section of the class, it should be noted that additional reading and or uh, other coursework will be expected from the students. While the WebCT course site will be the sole official website of this course, other environments will be explored, used, and analyzed. The links for each of these will be posted on the WebCT site as we progress. The resources then that will be used in this course are as listed. Uh, they are internet-based and they, they are uh, available using an internet connection. Some of these may only be access, accessed through the UIT library as they are restricted by licensing agreements. Others are freely accessible through services like YouTube, Twitter, or CMAP. It is expected that all students in this course will use these resources in many different ways. The following non-exhaustive list describes some of the resources and how they could be used. So text-based materials and websites are used for information gathering and filtering. Um, resources such as Twitter, WebCT, discussion forum, um, instant messaging programs, uh, Skype and Adobe Connect can be used for information gathering and filtering, communication between students, the between students, between students and the TA, and between students and the TA uh, and the instructor, etc. It can also be used for knowledge building, and we'll talk about knowledge building a little bit more in the next series of clips. Uh, another resource, Prezi, for those of you who aren't familiar with the, um, the tool, it's a presentation tool that uh, allows you to uh, present information to others. Uh, CMAP is uh, another um, 
application that we'll be making use of and it allows for graphical organization of ideas and information and it allows for information presentation to others. And finally YouTube um, is uh, available as an information tool so you present your information to others as well or you collect information that is presented there. Um, so it's expected that students will continue to develop intellectual independence throughout this course. In other words, don't wait to be told uh, which tool to use or what to do with it. Uh, be adventurous and get started on your own. The assignments and activities as listed in the course outline are given here as well. All course activities or assignments are listed in the course syllabus along with their due dates. Since this course follows an, ex an intensive five-week plan, students will be expected to be begin work on all assignments and course activities immediately at the beginning of the course. Don't wait. Uh, you should be working on this course every day. The final presentation and paper that will need to be addressed uh, will need to be addressed very early on in order to ensure that it will be completed by the course end date. Collaborative group work will be expected. Students will be expected to form a group of four or five students. This group will be self-regulated in that each member of the group will be responsible for participating in the group work. And uh, as some of the assignments are graded on the basis of the project presented by the group, it's up to the group to determine who will be doing what and then ensuring that it is completed within the required time frame. Some assistance will be available from the course TA and the instructor early in the course, but this assistance will decrease over the course. Read the remainder of the course syllabus as posted in uh, the course WebCT website as uh, course expectations are stated within this document. Finally, to finish off this clip then, there's a series of synthesis questions as I noted earlier in the clip. These synthesis questions are designed to help you to pull the information together based on the information that you have seen from a variety of different sources, uh, including the discussions within the tutorial, but also the information that you've been seen posted here um, in the video clip itself. So these synthesis questions for this particular file are as follows. One, discuss the potential benefits to your education that should arise from, this partic from participation uh, in this course. Secondly, which course outcomes are of more importance and why? Thirdly, how are the course tasks, activities, and resources tied to the outcomes? And fourthly, how is the course tied together? In other words, how is it made cohesive? I'm looking forward to um, interacting with many of you as we proceed through this course, but that brings us to the conclusion of this particular uh, video clip.